Hey everybody, it's Joe from GreenLightSound.com and today we've got yet another tip about mixing guitars courtesy of Joe Barisi and this one's about parallel guitar distortion and two different ways that Joe has done this and that we can do this in the box to create this parallel guitar distortion channel. The first thing I want to do though is of course play the raw guitar part by itself which is already a pretty heavy distorted guitar. No parallel processing going on here, just a plain guitar part. <laughs> And the old way that Joe Barisi used to do this would be to send this out of the console that he's working on and into a pedal. And in this case, it would be a Tube Screamer pedal and then bring that back up to level back into the console with a preamp. And it's going to be one of two different preamps, an API preamp or a Neve preamp. The API is going to kind of be more of a transient heavy sound, emphasizing transients. And the Neve is going to usually be a little bit fatter sound. We can do that in the box if you've got a Tube Screamer plugin or maybe some preamp plugins. I've got the UAD versions of the Tube Screamer, the API preamp, and the Neve preamp, but if a lot of the Neve and API channel strip style plugins have the preamp model as well, and you can use that too if you want to. And of course, there's tons of modeled Tube Screamer stomp box plugins out there. So let's get rid of the dry channel, turn on just the parallel channel itself, and this is what it sounds like with just the Tube Screamer itself engaged. <laughs> So you get that kind of mid-range heavy extra distortion on top of the distortion that's already there, Tube Screamer sound. Here it is without again, and with the Tube Screamer. Of course you can play with the drive and tone if you want. You can get really kind of hashy sounding as you push the tone knob up. So I'd leave the tone somewhere between 12 o'clock and 3 o'clock. Anything past that it gets kind of nasty. You get too much top end in there, you don't want that. Even though we don't really need to bring the level up with the mic pre in this case because we're working in the box, we can kind of get the tone advantages of having these preamps. So if I add that API plugin and kind of drive that in, we get this tone with the Tube Screamer plus the API preamp. Here's without the API. And listen especially for the transients with the API in. A little bit of edginess to the attack. Now if we do the same thing with the Neve preamp engaged, we get a little smoother sound. Without it. And with. A little bit fatter, a little bit rounder, not quite as transient heavy as the API. So all we did is take the main guitar channel, send it to a bus or an aux channel, put a Tube Screamer plug in, and put either an API or a Neve preamp, depending on what flavor you're going for. I'm going to go back to the API, bypass the Neve. Now I'm going to put the main channel back on and blend in the parallel channel as it plays. <laughs> Of course, we do get a level bump. We're adding gain to it, but that's okay. Now let's bypass it on and off as it plays. Let's try to listen to the tonal difference, especially the thickening of the guitar part. It's a nice way of just beefing things up. And of course, if you wanted to do this hardware way, you could do it that way. You could send it out of your DAW into an actual Tube Screamer pedal and back into the DAW again. But the newer way that Joe Barisi does this doesn't involve any of that at all. It's going to be overloading the SSL channel on his console. And we can kind of do that in the box as long as you've got an SSL plugin that models the input stage or the preamp stage of the SSL channel. So I'm just going to jump over to the UAD version of our SSL here. And what we have is just, I'm not doing anything with the EQ, I'm not doing any compression, none of that. All I'm doing is driving up that mic level and pulling down the fader to compensate for it. And when we do that and we overload the channel, we get this sound. Kind of 
kind of edgy without it again. And with it. Now, if I blend this in with the main channel as it plays, we get a different tone. And we can push that mic level even hotter. Without. And with. So two different methods courtesy of Joe Barisi for adding some parallel distortion. Method number one included a Tube Screamer plugin and either an API or a Neve preamp, depending on what tone you're going for. And the newer method that he does now is just overloading the SSL's mic pre and getting the distortion that way on the channel itself. Nice ways to thicken up guitars, to add some extra distortion to guitars. Sometimes you're only going to use this in the chorus of a song, so the parallel channel will be off in the verses and brought in the chorus to kind of make the guitars pop a little bit more or have a little bit extra tonal characteristics to them, something different happening in the chorus. Really great trick to use for guitars. If you have any questions or comments, let me know in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already, so we can keep you in the loop as to what's coming up next, and I'll see you in the next one.